Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne, and this is Daily Rambles. I don't know why I have enjoyed that, but anyway. We're doing Season 6, Episode 16 of Arrow, called The Fantanos Guild. So we saw her off with a Thea flashback of her getting in the element with Malcolm, and telling about where they want to go, and all that type of stuff. We get to the present day where you have rogue assassins. Um, they want Thea, and Nyssa is there as well, and she challenges them and blows them up and escapes. <laughs> but um, she didn't kill the main person, which is called Athena. So um, she's still out there. So then we have Thea is leaving our town with Roy, and so. Um, Tells Will and bears the story about uh, Oliver how he had a night light until he was 16 years old. And uh, then Oliver comes in and is like, it wasn't a night light. Just, we'll go get a piece of fork because he was eating cake with his hands. So he was like, just go get a fork and stuff. So um, he talks, she talks to Oliver about leaving. He, she kind of thought that he would kind of take back what he said about her him being happy that she's leaving and stuff. But that is not the case. He's just happy for her and says, if Roy does not treat you right, I'll do worse than putting the two arrows in him that I did before. <laughs> and then we cut to where uh, Lance starts to diggle about Laurel and how he's beginning to trust her a little bit, but Diggle said, don't do that. Just, no. <laughs> and then we have Curtis. Is um Then we cut to uh, Kurt is talking to Black Canary, and he's kind of jealous that he's not going to the uh, goodbye party for Thea. And then uh, we have Black Canary is looking for dirty cops and has found at least 12 so far. And they are also taking care of Renee's daughter while he's in rehab from his injuries. And then uh, Black Canary has uh, got a call. She has to go to work. And then we have uh, Roy and Thea are leaving town, but Roy hit a flat, and the Rogue League of Assassins show up and try to help them. Then Nissa comes in and saves them, and then they escape, but Thea's like, I don't want any part of this, I just want to go. I don't, don't want to deal with this. And then we cut to where um, Nissa goes back to the Arrow Cave with um, Thea and Roy, and they talk about how Malcolm created a second League of Assassins. So fun. And um, has a map of a um, of this magical artifact or something. And so but it's in a box. So then um, Thea, again, does not want any part of it. But um, agrees to go with Nissa to this contact in Star City that Malcolm had. And Nissa um, apparently had issues with her. I think it was an ex, to be honest. So anyway, uh, then we have Black Canary at the crime scene. And then the uh, captain tells um, her and her, um, I guess her partner, I guess, to leave and that she's got it. And this is like way, way, way below her pay grade. And Dina's, Dinah's not happy with that <laughs> at all. But she does leave, and then um, then we cut toward the contact that Nissa was talking about was at a strip club. And so they talk to the girl, and she gives them the location, and they think it's booby-trapped, and it is. Very booby-trapped. And so then Athena, that's the head woman from the Rogue League of Assassins, show up with her people. And then they have some really, really good fight scenes. The camera work was a lot better on this. I feel like I do not like the first person where it's just kind of jiggly and just goes everywhere. No. <laughs> That's just not my speed. I just don't like that. And it's like touch more realistic. I prefer like more, you know, water shots. Anyway. And then we have uh, the escape, but they did find the box. It turns out... Um, he was really clever and created like a faux cement that had, I guess, man. Oh no, Nissa explained it pretty well, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail because then I'm not going to remember what she said. So anyway, then Thea uh, kind of uh, wants to help Nissa, and Roy's kind of like 
do we have to? <laughs> but he does go on with it. Then we cut to where Curtis and Black Canary are um, hacking and stealing evidence. Then Curtis flirts with the cop, which is uh, Dinah's partner, and he agrees to take her on a on, take him on a tour. So it kind of worked out, and he was crushing on him hard when Dinah was looking up people um, who was dirty cops. <laughs> he, he, I was like, someone's thirsty. Anyway, so then we have. Um, the Black Canary gets evidence, and, or Dinah, or Dina, whatever. Then we have Nissa and Oliver talk, and um, he, she, he's like, can you stop calling me husband? Like, my actual wife doesn't like that, which is Felicity. <laughs> and so uh, they just kind of like, kind of at odds a little bit, and uh, then we cut to where Felicity finally cracked it, which did, of course, take her long at all to do. And it turns out, um, basically, you take the first two numbers, so you add them up, and you keep doing it until you get the end result. So they do it, and they get them a map out of the box, and it's blank. And there's no, um, you can't do it through light, it's like a flame, or a graph, which what Felicity was doing. She was like going over, trying to do a 3D reprint of it, and see if they could find some markers in it, but they didn't find anything. And then we cut to where Roy is mad at Thea because he, they were late leaving town and she, now she's having second thoughts and now she is kind of conflicted on what she wants to do. But Thea manages to come down and say, I just need you to trust me. I just want to follow this through and then I'm done. And then uh, we cut to where Black Canary and Curtis are making connections and it turns out Hill is actually clean. I don't think she is, because we already know that she ain't. <laughs> like, we already know this. And then, uh, then we have Oliver talks to Thea, and he doesn't want her to give up being up. Uh... Okay, so she kind of flipped it on him, saying that, like, you know, I just, I just like something's missing, and when you put on that hood, you feel the best version of yourself. So that's why Oliver does not want to give up being the Green Arrow. And then um, he kind of says the same thing back to her. It's like, well, maybe you should keep a suit and try to do your own thing as well. And then we cut to where um, the, um, I guess it's the Guild, because that's the name of the episode. So I guess the Guild or the Rogue League of Assassins are at a gas plant. And are going to try to blow it up. So they uh, they want the map and Thea's blood because they also go there. And Thea wants you know try to trade, but doesn't work. Then we have uh, Athena versus Thea. They have all the fight scenes and more, just awesomeness. I loved it. Uh, then we have Roy uh, short circuit the bomb. Thanks to Oliver with his electric or electronic bow. Um, not electronic arrow. Then, then, uh, Thea, um, then Thea got Athena, but she managed to escape. I thought she actually finished her, but she didn't. And then um, they got some cuts, and uh, it turns out the map is activated, and now they can see the map. And so we go back to the arcade to discuss it, and turns out Malcolm found not one, but a three Lazarus piss, pit. I don't know why I said that word. Anyway, he found three of them. What in the... What do you need three for? So, obviously, Nissa wants to destroy them ASAP. So, because uh, it's really dangerous. And then we cut to where Curtis asks out the cop, and he says yes. So, yeah. We have that, and then we have Hill. is actually super dirty, because... Um, the pills that they ran was Vertigo, and it's like a new abbreviation of it, and so, yeah, she's dirty as dirt. <laughs> and then we cut to where, um, basically, they're pushing Vertigo on the streets again. Then we have Thea, talks to Roy, and turns out they're, 
he wants to go with her, so they're both going on the set to stop the Lazarus pits because she feels like they need to be destroyed as well because all the stuff that could happen if there's a lot in there, even if, if there is one, it's just crazy. And so, um, then we cut to where Oliver says goodbye to them. It was kind of like a, a really good scene between the, um, all of them. I really like that scene. And then Nissa is, um, properly annuls the marriage to Oliver and gives him a ceremonial dagger that says, like, okay, we're done. Bye-bye. So anyway, uh, and that was the episode. It was a really good episode. I really liked it. Um, I'll probably give this an A. It was really good. There's just a couple little mini things that I didn't like. Um, first of all, that partner that Dina has that Curtis asked out, asked out I'm pretty sure he's going to be a dirty cop. And they're going to string him along and turn out he's in the game all the time. I can't call that right now. Right now, that's what I'm calling. Um, I, I feel like, I don't know, I think Thea and Rory are going to ask for help in another, in another episode. I'm not quite sure. I don't know how that's going to work out because I thought it was an arc of three episodes, but I'm not sure if they changed that or not. But anyway, um, I really did enjoy the fight scenes in this episode. I thought it was really good. And just the dynamic between everybody was great as well. And I love the interactions between Nissa and Felicity. It was probably one of my favorite parts. It was so funny. Because um, we learned that Nissa didn't uh, learn how to use the computer until she was 25. And then we have Felicity saying, like, Basically, in short term, like short versions, like leave me alone while I'm doing this math. It's very hard, and it's like I'll stay make sure you don't have any more interruptions. It's just like, <laughs> so I really do like that a lot. It was just a great episode. I really liked it. So, um, yeah. So anyway, um, I'm pretty sure we'll see more stuff unfold with the cops and all of this type of stuff. So anyway, super excited to see what's going coming up for the rest of the season. And that's what I'm doing for this video. So if you like this video, please give it a like or a dislike. Just tell me what you think of the episode down in the comment section down there. Just let me know what you think. And also, if you have any, any other suggestions for any TV shows, movies, or music, let me know. Also, down below, I have a bunch of stuff I'll record. And I got a couple of free days to do stuff. So anyway, uh, that's one door for me. So if you, like I said, just like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. And have an awesome day, night, or evening, whenever you watch this. Bye, everybody.